Alright, so we're doing something a little different today, right, Will? Yeah. What are we doing? Bailing. We're bailing. We have not bailed anything all year. Ooh, there's water laying here. So we went from super duper dry and the fertilizer not working to super, super wet and having to go around wet spots. Now, if y'all didn't know, uh, dirt track racer Billy Pouch is my cousin. My mother's first cousin, he's my cousin twice removed, or second cousin, or some damn thing like that. And he is having an open house on the 23rd, which I do believe is Sunday. There's some wet spots here. Baby. Anyways, he's having an open house, and he's getting ready for that. And we're bailing the hay off of this field so that he can park cars. I'm hoping for his sake it doesn't rain, because this could turn into a quagmire in a big old hurry. Now, if you don't know who Billy Pouch is, just look him up. It's Billy the Kid Pouch. Um, you can look his book up, The Last Cowboy. That was the uh, that was a book that was written about him, and it's really quite interesting. Um, it's really quite an interesting book. I watched his daughter Mandy Pouch. Mandy Pouch vlogs or Dirt Track Untold is what the channel's called. Uh, you can check her out there. I've plugged her before. Um, but yeah, so did we just drop one or we're gonna drop we haven't dropped it yet so anyway this is the first we've bailed there's a I got a sensor issue I have to rectify I'm not sure what it is just yet I think it's just a loose wire and I have to track that one down oh, there it just dropped its bail so I got to figure that out but anyway yeah Thus kicks off the first hay baling of the year. I only have about 2,500 acres of hay to make this year. I've let a couple of places go. Um, oh, it blew up. So let's say we, uh, now look at that, it did blow up. Well, we're going to have to fix that. Let's do this. We can do that and we can go to look. Click. What are you looking, looking? Okay, so. Yeah, you're okay, so. Tim. Oh. Yes, Tim. As I am. Now it looks like Teresa's got me all set up. So this is a regular 1290. This is not the HDP. Regular 1290. Oh. I don't know that I like that. Oh yeah. Got the wires and stuff in there. Got all sorts of stuff in here. This is the uh this is the lighter duty stuff. Were they? I don't think they did too much to this. They changed this, that's for sure. They're sealed bearings now. Wow. Anyway. The head, this is a regular 1290. This is not the HDP, obviously. This is the, the smaller. It's a 1290, but it's a standard baler. Oh, really? Yeah, it's not the HDP. It's not the one that we saw in England. No, no. It's got the smaller, it's got the regular size tires on it like we've got. I see. Yeah. I don't see anything really too different from our, oh, no, no difference in the plunger. Everything's pretty much the same in there doesn't have the bigger I've got two up there and two on the side so this is just a standard density baler there's nothing wrong with this baler it's a good baler I don't like the way they got that hitch on there I bet that's just a transportation hitch that's not a hitch that they use for that's it just a transportation hitch uh -huh. they that's all they are they haven't put the re regular hitches on them I don't think oh you think hopefully not that's cheesy yeah, I don't like them. That's like... No, that's just the transportation oh, okay. hitches. They'll pop that off. This thing hasn't been set up. And once they set it up, flywheel's got those little fans attached to them that we don't get. Huh. Haven't done anything different in there. Really nothing different. It's all the same head. Pickup head's the same. This is the transmission stuff that hold the horses. I'm going to open this. I like that, that they changed that. 
I think that's glued shut. Nope. Same. No. Not the same. That's different. These are standard chains. It's, it's kind of the same. They changed that. This was, this is a little different. But, well, all in all, it's about the same damn thing. Yep. Just a few differences in it. Slight differences. Yep. I like this. See how much bigger that block That's is? Big. Now, they did away with the automatic grease. They're all sealed bearings in there. Sealed bearings. Yeah, sealed bearings. We'd break that, so... Anyway, yeah, this just hasn't been set up. That's why it's... I like the look of it, though. Yeah, it looks like a nice beetle. It, it does. It's a freaking stink bug. Yeah, it does. But it's a sexy-looking stink it bug. It's, it does. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, they haven't got the hydraulic jack on. It's just got this on here. They haven't gotten everything on that they need to put on it. Same... Well, this is a hand crank. These are just the little... 870s HDP 890 standard Crone big M 450s see if the mushroom companies would have uh, Continued to allow us to grow and expand along with them Then this would be would have been in my arsenal, but instead I'm looking at this stuff I'm looking at grain platforms and corn heads and stuff like that you can get, oh, this one here has got the blower system, the query, uh, oh, and you even got crop lifters on there for downed wheat. But, uh, yeah, it's head, you know, you got to buy heads with them. If you, if you buy the CR system series, you got to buy the heads with them. This one here has had some issues. I wonder what happened there. Rocks. But those look like they're replaceable parts. So you just buy those replaceable parts. I like that they have the this this thing has seen some this thing has seen some nastiness. What the fuck they run through there? A goddamn Volkswagen Beetle? Jeez. <laughs> I think they ate a car. Oh, here's those lockups that I had to make for mine. I lock them up. That's cool. This has stainless steel floor. This head's seen some better days. Um, a lot better days. These are replaceable. Oh, they're missing whatever they were in rocks. Had to be. But here's what you really want is one of these. Is one of these. The uh, Draper header. They say once you go to a Draper, you'll never go back, you know. You'll never go back to anything else. Uh corn heads here is a 12 row corn head if you're going to get the 8080 you got to get the you got to get the 12 row corn head because why would you buy anything less than a 12 row corn head um and this is probably the one that went on there it's rigid who cares though you know you i just have to get some this has this has those um yeah now well, they made these a lot heavier i like that this has got the support there. Are these separate? No, oh, they're together. It's just got that support bearing there. Yeah. That's your degrees of angle. Cool. Yeah, this is good. Don't mind this. What model is this thing? Got to have a model number on it, you would think. That's for road transport. Very similar to the 974 or the 996 is what I've got. What is this one? I bet this is a 74. Model 74C or whatever. I don't even... New Holland. It just says New Holland. Where in the heck is the... Oh, this is a chopping head. Got lawnmower blades under there. Yeah, that's expensive. It takes a lot of power to run those. It takes a lot of power to run those. I don't care for the chopping heads. And just run the VT over top of it if you want to chop it. God, dude, you'd think it would have the damn plate on it, right? I've got to be looking in the wrong spot. There's just no, no way. What is that? That is a 2612, right? Is that what that said? 26, 2612. It is a 2612 30, 30 feet. 2612 30. This one here. Is another 
head the green platforms got plenty of things there this is a 740 cf30 superflex last thing it did was soybeans look at the i mean look at the stalk size of these things man they grew some nice beans you can tell by that stalk size creary that is a creary uh, uh yeah creary uh, grain saver what gets me is they got the they got the stone guards and the grain savers on there super flex i bet this thing flexes really good this head's not actually in bad shape but i would you know i these you got to look through this stuff you know oh, looks like the wife is there she's saying come on come on now that's a grain cart that i think jeff you know the one happy farmer he needs one of these Look at this grain car. You can haul a lot of grain with this little guy. What is this for kids? And this thing's, I think it's used. Somebody must have made these special. There's no way. That's so cute. Yeah, it is. 50 bushel, on this thing? 50 bushel yeah. That's so cute. You pull it behind your lawn tractor. I don't know what the point in this is. Somebody from Messick, could you please tell me what the point in this is? The little baby one? Yeah, I mean, it's okay, I guess, for feeding out feed for your heifers or beef cows or something. You want to pull it behind a Kubota. But <laughs> that's kind of funny. I don't know why. That I don't know why. But yeah, you need a grain. You need that 12 row right there. Is that what you wanted? Well, you got to have a 12 row if you're going to have a big combine. You might as well have a big old 12 row. We'll get the 880. We'll run this 12 row. Okay. And there's this draper header right here. Okay, where's that draper header? Right here. Okay. Here's your draper. So you got to have that, you know. You're going to have millions of dollars invested. Oh, yeah, that's the draper. You're going to spend a couple million dollars. You may as well spend it right. Okay. Oh. It's got these little little snooty uties there yeah neat I'm not, I'm not buying a I don't think I'm gonna buy a draper no there's nothing over there I know everybody would just love to see me spend a couple million dollars they'd flex right mm -hmm. uh. anyway that's it I'm not gonna buy a draper these have chopper these are chopping heads Oh, this one's not a chopping head. But this one here is. This one here's got the lawnmower under it. See the lawnmower? I see. Chop, oh, chop, chop. Yeah, they come through and just cut them up. I don't. Chop it as well. Yeah, yeah I just, just take the vertical tillage machine over it. That's all. But you can do it in one pass. Right? That's what I'll hear. That's what I'll hear. You can do it in one pass. Yeah, there's no blades under here, but it's set up for it. And this has got the chopping stock rollers in it. They're like sharp ass blades. Yeah. Oh well. I'll just go and fix up my TR96 so I can <laughs> harvest everything I need to harvest, right? Oh my goodness. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take all the naysayers and 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 just say, hey. We're going to go buy a New Holland 8080 and we're going to fix up the TR96 and the TR96 will get it done. As long as you change the tire on that because you got a very stiff hill, sweetheart. I do have some hills, but uh -huh. if I put tires on it, you know, the tires are worth more than the combine is, right? Yeah, well, what do you want to do? Uh, I don't know. What do I want to do? I think, I, I'll tell you what I think I'm going to do. Oh, yeah? What are you going to do? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go buy a newer model combine, newer model TR combine. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> I'd love to have the TR99, but the problem with the 99s is they only ran those things from 99 to like 2002. So you've got five years of the 99s. And not too many of the parts from the TR96 will fit the 99 uh, because it's just a totally different class combine. I personally think that the 99 is cool. 
and everything and I would love to have it but I think I'm going to shy away from a 99 unless I get uh, a pretty good deal on one and I've been looking I missed an opportunity <coughs> on a 99 it had 980 hours on the thresher and like 1200 or 1500 hours on the engine and I said to dad he says now oh, that thing's going to go for $35,000 $40,000 it's not even it isn't even worth it it was on auction it was two wheel drive nobody wants a two wheel drive well the four wheel drive unit off of the 96 will fit that it'll go right on it well hold it I'm holding it'll fit on there it'll work um so okay what I want to do is I want to find a TR 98 that's a nice ass bean okay so the TR 98 is basically the same combine as the TR 96 with the difference in some gearboxes and some other things engines different you know that sort of stuff it's got more horsepower um, but for the most part the feeder house chain that I just spent a couple thousand dollars on that will fit Ooh, gotta get around this corner that'll fit the elevator chains they'll fit the there's just a lot of parts on that thing that'll fit um, and I could use it she's still in there no she's out of there nasty woman anyway um, oh god I gotta make it I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it whether it likes it or not yay it's red Ooh, what the hell was that a box of goodies Anyway, so I think I'm going to be looking for a TR-98 with low hours. Uh, Sorry. So that's that's kind of where I'm at right now because I can I found a place that I can fix my heads. I can get the parts for the 974 grain platform. That's fine. I can live with that. And they still make parts for it. They just don't have all the parts for it. The floor, plans, floor pans or floor panels, I can get those on uh, at Shoops and there's just some other companies that do make some parts for them and by the time I'm done I can piece it all together uh, yeah so I can do that the 996 head I can put a the TR 98 I do believe will take a 12 row head I can get an 8 row head or I can just use my 6 row head and I've seen some good eight and 12 row heads that'll fit on that thing so I could go ahead and uh, and buy one of those if I need to um, but I'm just gonna do this on a budget uh, I, I don't wanna I don't wanna break the bank because I've got a crop of corn I don't wanna break the bank buying a combine that is oh you're getting close to that I'm nowhere near it at least six inches there right yeah yeah, I'm not gonna break the bank buying a combine. Do you think I should break the bank buying a combine? No, but you like that 8080, don't you? I do. Yeah, but then there's you got that 12 row head that's sitting there, and then you've got that 30 foot uh, flex head that's sitting there. So you're looking at $167,000 for the combine, and then the heads are gonna be 50, 60 thousand bucks a piece. You're looking at 200 and you say you're looking at 270 thousand dollars. So for two hundred and seventy thousand dollars, and I think that's what he quoted me two hundred and seventy some thousand dollars for those, for the heads that actually came off of that combine, and they're not bad looking heads or anything, but two hundred and seventy some thousand dollars, uh, it would be okay. But what happens next year? You know, it's like we could have a good crop this year, an okay crop this year, and a bumper crop next year. We could have a bumper crop this year and a crap crop next year, and. You know, I, I'm pretty sure I could just pay for it this year, but I'd rather have some money in the bank and just go buy a $30,000 combine that the heads that I already have will fit on. And I have a TR-96 that will... Oh, and the other thing is, the CR combine will not fit in any of my buildings. Will it? No. Not at all. I'd have to build a building specific for the damn combine. Or put an addition on to one of the Morton buildings, the, the Morton building out back, and uh, just with tall doors to put the combine in. The combine in the heads, because I, I just can't stand leaving a combine outside. So that's where we stand. If you guys think that I should go ahead and bite the bullet on a uh, CR8080 with a 12 row head and a 30 foot full flex, uh, super flex header. You know leave that in the comments if you think I should if I'm thinking the right direction which is to 
buy a damn good TR-98, possibly a 99, but if I could find one that I really feel confident in, give me the ideas of where there's a good combine boneyard where I can go pick parts off of it if I need them. And uh, you don't have no time. That's the problem. No, no, no. I, those the boneyards out west, they'll send them to you. The boneyard here in Pennsylvania, uh, what folks have been doing.